Hi everyone, welcome to the Simply Learn YouTube channel. This session will be about C Python. Before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. In this session, you will learn about what C Python is. Next, you will come to know whether Python is interpreted or compiled language. Further, you will know about the history of C Python and learn about the basics of source code of C Python. You will understand the working of C Python and know why C Python written in C and not Python. Let's start with C Python. The default implementation of the Python programming language is C Python and it is one of the Python runtimes. It is directly downloaded from python.org in programming language C and it also executes the programming language Python. Let's know about its history. So the first version of C Python was released in 1994 by the Python developer community. Now let's brush up some basic concepts. First one is the Python programming language. It is a high level general purpose programming language. If we talk in general, the programming language only describes how to express yourself to the interpreter. That is the program which accepts the Python code. The next is implementation. It is all about how the interpreter was written, specifically in what language and what it ends up doing. The next is machine code. Machine code, it is set of instructions that directly gets executed by the CPU. Almost all the high level languages such as C translate the source code into executable machine code with the help of compilers, loaders and linkers. The next concept we will learn is bytecode. Bytecode, it's the code that is processed by a program usually referred to as a virtual machine rather than the real computer machine and moreover the machine code is much faster as compared to bytecode but bytecode is portable and secure as compared to machine code now let's get to know whether python is interpreted or compiled language we have read that python is an interpreted language but the truth is that it is both compiled and interpreted language before moving ahead, let's brush up the concepts of compilation and interpretation. First, we'll start with compilation. It's the process in which the source code is translated into the machine readable code or it serves as the input to another compiler or interpreter. It takes whole code file as an input. The code is translated once into object code and can be run many times. It will not execute the machine readable code it produced. The next we will learn about is interpretation. Interpretation, it's the process that takes a single line of code at a time and executes it. Interpreter executes the instructions specified in the source code while the program gets executed. Now, we will see both compilation and interpretation in one diagram. Many programming languages don't compile to actual machine code but to a byte code. The compiler first compiles the source code to an intermediate language called bytecode, which is the low level platform independent representation of the source code. The virtual machine, that is interpreter, then takes the bytecode and executes it. Now let's move ahead and see some basic concepts of source code of CPython. The CPython source distribution comes with a whole range of tools, libraries and components. To compile CPython from the source code, you need a C compiler and some build tools according to your OS. To download a copy of the CPython source code, you can use git to pull the latest version to a working copy locally. Now let's understand the working of CPython. CPython ends up producing bytecode, which is Python specific and then it executes it. The reason to convert Python code to bytecode is because it's easier to implement an interpreter if it looks like machine instructions but it isn't necessary to produce some bytecode prior to execution so we will understand this with the help of an example first the compiler receives the source code it then checks the syntax of each line in the source code if the compiler encounters an error it holds the translation process with an error message else if the transaction is well formatted then it translates the python source code into a special low level intermediary language called bytecode. This bytecode 
is stored in .pyc files that is hidden in a directory and cached for execution and only understood by C Python. Bytecode is sent to the Python virtual machine that is PVM. Python virtual machine is the part of the Python system that actually runs the Python code that is in the format of bytecode. It takes the bytecode instructions one by one and executes its section. Bytecode along with its input and library modules is given as the input to the PVM that is Python virtual machine. Python virtual machine executes the bytecode and if any error occurs it displays an error message that would be the runtime error. Otherwise if there is no error in execution it results in the output. Now let's see why C Python is written in C and not in Python. As C Python follows source to source compiler model. These source to source compiler models are first written in another language which is already processing a compiler. We have a very good example of Go language. First Go compiler was based on C programming language as when Go could be compiled the compiler was rewritten in Go. With that we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it please let us know in the comment section below. Also do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.